welcome back to my channel. I am coming back with a makeup tutorial. It's been a minute since I actually filmed a makeup tutorial, I feel like. So I was trying to like do different things. Um, but I'm very, very excited about today's video. I recently purchased the, and I know this is all over the tube and Instagram, and um, I love Karen and Anna from Dose of Color, so I had to get this palette. Um, but I got the I Love Sedahi and Dose of Colors uh, palette, which I'm sure most of you have heard about. And then I also got, I only got this, and then I also got one of her lippies. Um, and I had to get the color Fresa. I don't have like that, you know, Hispanic like slur of the tongue, like cute thing. So I can't do that. Like, ugh. Like, I can't do it. So, it's Fresa, <laughs> and it actually means strawberry. If you don't know, I do know that part. Um, but I had to get at least one of these colors, and I thought for summer, um, I needed this color in my life. So I have this, and I have the palette. If you guys have not seen the palettes yet, this is with the packaging. I am obsessed with this packaging. I like it because it's different. Um, I just feel like a lot of um, palettes that have been coming out kind of have like the same look to them, you know what I mean, as far as like the packaging. So I am a huge, huge, huge fan of this. It has the colors on the back here. And then as far as the colors go, these, like you can't get more beautiful than this. This color, of course, I feel like is one of the more popular of the palettes. Um, and this is Palma. I'm actually going to do a few different videos using this palette, so I wanted to start off doing something a little bit different than the um, using the Palma, just because I feel like that's what everybody's kind of gravitating towards, which I know why I swatched it, and oh, it's beautiful. But um, I wanted to do something a little bit more, more neutral on the eyes because I wanted to use that lip color, which I am obsessed with. The formula's creamy. It's matte, but it's not dry. Like when I smile, I don't feel like it's gonna like crack and fall off my lips, you know what I mean? And I'm gonna show you guys how to create this look. I do have a top on. This is from Charlotte Russe, and I felt like, I felt like this just like went with the whole vibe. You know what I mean? <laughs> Whew, it's 100 degrees in here. My hair was silky smooth, so I came down here. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and of course, subscribe for more videos. Yeah, so if you wanna see how I got this look, then stick around, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Okay guys, so first step is always to prime the eyes. I just usually use a concealer. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the color Light, which I think is the lightest shade that they have. You can obviously use a shadow primer. I use the Urban Decay Potion Primer, the MAC Painterly Paint Pot, whatever you have, but honestly, concealer works just as good. And I'm actually not gonna set my concealer like I usually do, and I definitely find that this helps with the pigmentation of the colors. And then, so we're gonna dip into the palette, and the first color I'm going in with is that color Loungy, um, which is such a beautiful, it's like a peachy, pinky color. It looks more orange on camera, but it's definitely more of like a peachy, pinky color. I'm so bad, like I, I can't, for the life of me explain colors but it's the color loungy and then um just to kind of deepen up that crease area we're gonna go in whoo we're gonna go in with the next shade which is wonderlust next to palma this is the best color of like the palette this is like just a, such a true it's almost like a brick color like a reddish brown so i'm just working that into the crease and just darkening that up just for some more definition and then I'm going in with that same concealer, which was that Age Rewind concealer, and I'm just doing somewhat of like a halo eye. I'm not precise with it. I just want something for this shadow to stick to. So I'm just popping that on the inner corner, or I'm sorry, the middle of my eyelid. And then I'm going in the palette with Poquito Mas, um, which is more of a, it's almost like a highlight shade. Um, it's just this really pretty like taupe shimmery color which I thought was perfect and it really popped against loungy and wonderlust so I'm popping that um, right over the concealer and then I will amp it up later on just to um, I just want a little bit more oomph you know um, which I'll get there in a minute but I'm going in again just to blend out those edges with wonderlust which is like that brick um, shade that we put on to define our crease so I'm just putting that on that outer V area and then I'll go on the inner area as well just to kind of get rid of those harsh lines where we put the color um, poquito mas. 
So that's what we should have right now. And like I said, the color's great, but I just want a little bit something extra. So I'm going in with this Stilla eyeshadow, um, and I'll have everything listed down below. And I'm just popping that over what we did um, over Poquito Mas. So putting that on there, tapping it, and then I'll go in with a brush a little bit later. And then just like at the top there where the crease is, I'm just going again in with that Wonderlust just because I feel like I lost some of that color up there. So I'm going to go ahead and put that there and just touch it up. And this is where I'm just patting out. There's nothing on this brush. I'm just patting out that Stilla eyeshadow. And then I'm going for a winged liner. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm not going to wing it out like I usually do if I do a winged liner. Um, I just wanted to hide the lash band, and I'm just winging it out just like such a little bit, like a little bit. <laughs> I can't talk. Like I'm trying to get used to these voiceovers, but they are hard. Um, and then for lashes, um, first we're going to prime. I'm using the new Maybelline Total Temptation. It's actually my first time using this. And it wasn't bad. It didn't impress me. But I'm going to try it a couple more times before I make my final decision. And then lashes I popped on off camera. And these are the Ardell 812's Faux Mink Lashes. For the face, we're going to prime with our NYX Angel Veil. And then I'm going in with an oldie but a goodie. And this is the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation in the shade 103. I used to use this nonstop. And then I just, you know, get away. I'm trying other foundations, but I forgot how much, like, I miss this foundation. Especially now that my skin's more on the oily side with summer and this humidity. It definitely holds up well. So I dig back in my foundation drawer and we pulled this guy out. So again, this is the shade 103. And then new concealer. I don't know if I use this on camera. It's the Revolution Concealer um, from Revolution Cosmetics, I think it is. And this is in the color C6. And I'm just going to highlight um, my face, my under eyes, um, nose, chin, forehead, all that fun stuff. And I'm just going to blend it out. I like the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, which is the one I, I typically always use. I also like the Eco Tools one, the green one. That's also a pretty inexpensive, um, good quality um, makeup sponge if you're looking for one. And then I'm going in again with another new product, and it's the Revolution um, Luxur Luxury, I can't never say this word, Luxury <laughs> Baking Powder in the shade Lace. It's my first time using this, and I actually really liked it. I, I usually use my Airspun Face Powder, um, so liking that. And then for the under eyes, we're going back in with pretty much the same shadows we used at the top, so I'm going with Loungy first, which was more of like that peachy pink shade. I'm just buffing this on the lower lash line. I'm bringing it down pretty far, so if you don't like that, you know, you can keep it more towards the lash line. Then again with Wonderlust, I'm keeping this one a little bit closer to the lash line, so I'm not bringing it down as far as, far as I did with Loungy. Just because I feel like I always need shadow on my, like, bottom lash line. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then we're going to dip into the shade Finders Keepers, which is that black metallic shade, and I'm just pushing that in my lash line. And then I'm going in, there's no additional product on this brush, but I'm just going in and kind of smudging it so it's not so harsh um, and just blending it in with those other colors that we lay down. I just feel like this kind of made it more a little bit more dramatic. Then we're just going to bake away that powder and any fallout that we got. Now I'm going to try this um, Maybelline mascara on my bottom lashes. You guys know I like my Wet n Wild. So this actually did not transfer at the end of the day. So I don't know if that was a fluke. I'm going to try it a couple more times, but it wasn't bad. And then for brows, I filled them in using the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And then for my bronzer shade, we're moving quick here, girls <laughs> and guys. Um, I'm using the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Bronzed Bondi. And I'm just um, pretty much just bronzing up my face. So cheeks, forehead, and I like dust a little bit on my nose too, just for, like that sun-kissed look. I'm trying so hard to keep up. Like I tried watching this video a hundred times, so I would like kind of know what's coming up next. And it's so hard. You know, I just, I can't get the hang of it. I can't get the hang of voiceovers. And then for blush, I'm going with the Milani Baked Blush in Coralina. Or I think it's like, I think it's Coralina. I'll have it listed below. It's more like an orangey tone. Um, and it has like little shimmer flecks in it too. I, I This one gives me such a nice glow. All the Milani ones do. I usually always use those for my blushes. 
I'm just patting out any excess. And then to set my face, I'm going back to the Urban Decay All Nighter. I haven't used it for a while, so I'd like to check the sprayer on there. Um, so it, I used to love this stuff too. I just got away from it using my Pixi Glow Mist. And then for highlight, I'm actually going to use the shade from um, Karen's palette, the Poquito Moss, which was in the middle of our eyelid. I'm actually using that to highlight, and oh my god, I love it. Like, it's very, it's not like too intense, it's like just enough. Like, once that light hits it, it looks beautiful. So I ended up putting this like all over my damn face. <laughs> so Cupid's bow. Um, I put it on my forehead, like, you know, plus with that foundation's drying, so I went a little bit more of, like, a glow. And now for the exciting parts, I'm going in with the Dose of Colors. I love, Lo I love Sedehi, um, Color in Fresa, and oh my god, it doesn't even do it justice on camera. I'm going to prime my, it just moisturize my lips with the Varsali Liquid um, Gold Drops. And then I'm going in with, what pencil is this? This is the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in the shade number two, which is, what is this? True Red. It says True Red, but it matches Fresa like perfectly. And then here we go. Like, I'm obsessed with this lip color. It went on so creamy. I'm definitely going to order if they aren't sold out. I haven't checked in a few days. I'm definitely going to order all of her other lippies because I can't get over the formula. And this color is just so beautiful. Like, I couldn't, like, I just kept puckering up my lips and I just couldn't get enough of it. Like, so definitely I would purchase this if you wanted to purchase one thing from the collection. <laughs> But you guys, that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this somewhat of a review and demo of, of the um, I Love Sedehi Dose of Colors collab. So be sure to give this a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.